Hey, what's up, guys? So today I want to talk about the power formula, which is given as P equals V times I. Now, this is going to be for electrical power, not to be confused with uh, mechanical power, which was P is work over time and how fast we could do work. This is essentially just going to be applied to electricity. Now, this is usually given on some sort of reference table. So this is pretty straightforward, not too hard. But the problem becomes, what if we're not given V and we're not given I to find power in watts? All right, so the unit for this is also going to be watts. So essentially what we have to do is we have to use Ohm's law. And remember that Ohm's law is equal to V I R, where V is the potential difference, I is the current, and R is the resistance. Now this could be applied at the battery for total power, or this could be applied at each and every resistor. So essentially what I want to see is what happens when we are not given P, V, and I. Well, one thing we can do is we could say that V equals I, R, right? So if I look at this formula, now I could say that P equals that substitution for V, which is really I, R, times the original I that I had in the formula. So now we have a variation of the power formula, which is just P equals I squared R. And this is when we don't have voltage, potential difference, okay? So this is how we're going to be able to solve for P without V. Now the same can be done because we know that I is equal to V over R. So if I look at that power formula, I can now say P equals V times the substitution for I, which is V over R, to now get a new power formula that's equal to P equals V squared over R. So this is how we are going to solve for power when we don't have current. So we can see an example of this. Let's say I have a series circuit and it has three resistors in it. And I know at this resistor right here, R is equal to 4 ohms. And the current here is equal to 2 amps. And I want to know what is the power at this resistor. Now we would look traditionally and we'd say P equals VI. That's on our reference table. But we don't know what V is in this case. So we'd have to go and say, what do we know V equals? Well, P equals V equals IR from Ohm's law times the I. So now we're caught in a situation where we just have 2 amps squared times 4 and that's going to be equal to 16 watts. But if we look at, say, R1 over here, and we know that the potential difference here is equal to 12 volts, and the resistance there is equal to 3 ohms, I can now find the power here as well. So we know that P equals V times I, but in this case, I don't have I. So now we have V times V over R, which is a substitution for I. So we have 12 times 12 over 3, which is going to be equal to 48 watts. All right, that's pretty much how we're going to use the electrical power formula and how we substitute in Ohm's law 